Here's why you suck at reselling. And yes, the title is a little harsh, but let me explain. There are two main sections of reselling, buying and selling. And if you don't know how or what to buy, you won't have anything to sell and you won't make any money. And then also, if you can't sell, you're stuck with a bunch of shoes and you never make any money anyways. And I'd say the average reseller has one of those two problems. They either can't find shoes for really good prices, and even if they do, they don't know how to sell them for the highest price possible. Let's use the UNC Jordan 1s as an example. They shock dropped over 100,000 pairs of these on sneakers and prices diminished. They fell at least $75 in each size. Here's the shoe on StockX currently, and as you can see, pretty much every size is not doing good. There's a few over 220. But even if we were to sell at 220, let's pull it up here. Let's say I sold this at 220. This shoe retails 180, keep in mind. You're making $9. And that's before you even have to pay sales tax. So you're more than likely losing money on this shoe. And let's backtrack. Keep in mind, this is one of the most popular colorways to release this year. And I think it's a really great shoe too. So how is a Jordan 1 with a super clean colorway in the summer reselling so poorly? Because the hype of the shoe doesn't matter. It's the price you're getting it for. And again, I wouldn't resell this shoe, but let's talk about this. How many of you guys even got a pair of these? Most people don't know how to source hype shoes even consistently to begin with. And then let's say you get lucky and you do hit a pair, you end up undercutting the market and making everyone lose money as well. So again, on a shoe that's really, really popular that you probably didn't really get many of, which is a good thing because you're not going to make any money on it, is not reselling good. And a lot of people think this is a great shoe to pick up. So that's stage one of the problem. Is this even a good shoe to pick up? Yes, if you know how to sell it. But that's your other problem is you don't even know how to source it. So how is this shoe selling for only 220 on StockX, but in sneaker stores and locally, you could easily get 280 to 300 on it. You cannot use a third party platform to sell these because the fees eat it up too much for how little the margin is. That's why if you can utilize a brand or just a local following, you can make more money on these shoes than other people can because they're losing money on it. For example, if I bought a size 11 and a half today after taxes, shipping, everything, I'd pay around 265 and I'd have to wait probably two weeks to get it. Versus move this shoe locally or to someone following you on Instagram or your brand, you could easily sell it for 250 because A, they're getting it for a cheaper price than they would on StockX. And on top of that, you can ship it to them instantly, meaning they'll get it in maximum three days. So you guys do the math. Someone would pay you 250 bucks or StockX would pay you 190. Which one would you rather do? So it's pretty obvious you'll make $60 more per pair with this shoe. And again, you could do this on pretty much any Jordan release least that happens and on top of that guess what you just do it in volume you're making sixty dollars per pair you sell ten of them that's six hundred dollars extra profit for doing hardly any extra work and again this is why most people suck at reselling because they don't think outside the box they don't do stuff like this they'd rather just list it on stockx and lose money when in reality yes this is a good shoe and you still can make money on it by using Instagram or TikTok ways to establish a brand, you can get a ton of eyes on your shoes. Again, for me, for Instagram, I almost have 130,000 followers. Guess what? If I listed the shoe for sale on there, I know for a fact I could sell at least 100 of them with no problem. And Instagram's free. Like, that's free marketing. So again, don't follow the masses and be stupid and sell this shoe for way less than what it's actually worth. Do some extra work and sell it either locally or build a brand. And I promise you, you're going to make way more money. And it's going to be more long term rather than just selling on StockX for the short term. And if I'm being real, I wouldn't even buy this shoe for retail, to be honest. I've had some clients already picking them up under retail at outlets using discount codes. This is a way better way to do it. Because then, yeah, if you wanted to sell on StockX, sure, you could do it. I'd still sell this locally if I were you because you make more money. But again, picking these up for under retail is where you're going to make the most money for sure. And a few ways we'll find these at the outlets is I have an in-store monitor that I use. And basically, I can take the SKU here, this product code, type it into my in-store monitor, and it'll tell me within a 100-mile radius whether this shoe is in stock or not at an outlet. Now, does that tool mean it's always going to be in stock? No, but I can actually check beforehand I go, which is pretty cool because, again, it gives me basically a big advantage over everyone else. So, again, those are some small things that you can do to not be a bad reseller and make more money. Again, it's all about getting shoes as cheap as possible and selling them for the most money possible because it's less work and it's all leverage. Again, that's just an example of some of the tools that I provide my clients. If you guys are interested in learning more about what we do for our clients, working with me one-on-one, -on -one, feel free to shoot me a DM on Instagram with the keyword YouTube. That way I know where you came from and I'd love to talk to you more on there. So for future reference, focus on the price that you're going to pay for the shoe, figure out how to get them as cheap as possible or as cheap as you physically can, right? And then on top of that, sell them for the most money possible because that's where your biggest margin will be. If you're picking up shoes for as cheap as possible and selling them as high as possible, you physically can't lose. Other than that, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.